Hey guys, Pokemon Mercer here, and lately I've been working on some, a new story. This is actually the first story I've ever written alone, due to how on Deviant Art, me and my friend Princess Alexis 165 had written stories before, such as Jabanyan and, and Izzy's short for Invader Zim Wonderland, and Puelamagi's and Magica, which focused on both the Yokai Watch band focused on the Invader Zim fandom, the the Yokai Watch fandom, and the Puella Magi Madoka Magica fandom slash Maho Shoujo Madoka Magica fandom. And, they never, and I bet you can guess by, but because of a few of my videos that I'm a fan of Ben 10. So, anyways... This is... Before I begin what I'm about to do... Shout out to my friends, my friends, Princess Alexis165, of course, and, and Deuce and Jada and Sammy. Anyways, here we go. Ben 10, Rise of a Heroine, Season 1, Episodes 1 through 2. Five hero heroic hybrided beginnings. Everyone knows the story of the Omnitrix and its bearer, Ben Tennyson, but what they don't know is that is, is about five of the Omni hybrids, members of a secret organization. This part of the story is where me and my friends come in. Opening theme. Start the revolution by Orange. Ignore if it has lags. I'm gonna find better. Boop. Once again, opening theme. Start the revolution by Orange. <laughs> ah! Be right back. Take three. Opening theme, Revolution by Orange. Ignore this part. I got the idea for that opening because, well, the man of action is also re 
was also created also created not only Ben 10, but Generator X. Facts. Are you allowed to have it? Are you sure? Certain. Ignore my dad, people. So, anyways, the story. Me and my four friends, Alexis, a.k.a. Lex, Jada, Deuce, and Sammy were out at Westfield Mall, a mall near my area, shopping for, well, stuff. Then we got tricked. And then woke up in the strangest of places. As my eyes fluttered open. Uh, my head hurts. I then gasped. My voice! It, it's changed! This never happened, so I did what other, any normal person would do. I freaked out, thrashing inside of my little of my little tube. Truth be told, I could have cared less about being trapped in a glass casing. Um, excuse me, Destiny N. M. if I'm correct? Squeaked a tall, smiley, st small, tiny voice. Uh, are you... Uh, Erkin, who did this? Uh, Erkin? Goodness, no. <laughs> I'm a Galvin. G Galvin? I never heard that sp species name before. Yeah. Wait a second. Aren't you... G gray matter? I then... I then said, surprised. <laughs> I guess I guess you're smarter than, than you look, Miss Destiny. The small, the small voice replied to me. Now then, I, I said firmly, standing my ground. What the heck did you do to me? Oh, this, this is just for, just for precautionary measures. Gray Matter said, then chuckled lightly. Sure it is. I then said sarcastically. So this is part one of, semi part one of part one. Tell me, tell me what you think should happen next. Bye.